No justice. No peace. Justice for where a judge has ruled in favor of Barbers Hill ISD, saying the district did not violate the state's Crown Act in the case of Daryl George. Uh, it, feel, it feels lonely, like very lonely. Like, you know, when, when you're the one stuck, when you're the only one stuck in a room for a whole semester, a whole year at that, it's just like, it makes you feel, it makes you feel some type of way because you can't be a child like everybody else. Judge ruling George violated the code due to his hair length. His parents filed a federal lawsuit against the district after he was suspended for violating the district's dress code for wearing his hair in locks. Cultural competence matters. Mm -hmm. No, before it gets long, it's got to be short. It's not a lock. You pay a lot of money to make it lock. I'll also tell you something else about black hair. Some people can't grow their hair long naturally, like where just different people have different textures of hair. But some people want long hair. And one of the ways that we as black people are able to grow our hair long, like maybe some of our European counterparts have, is that we lock our hair or we braid our hair. Code. Georgia's parents say that goes against the law, but the district argued the law doesn't say anything about the length of hair. Well, are using a good law in a bad way. And that's what's happening. They did state that they would not lay down. They are going to continue to fight and we are going to be on the battlefield with them. This is like this are exactly what appeals are for. Oh, there are times when judges miss and judicial review is, is not spot on or even on. That's why we gotta have federal intervention or otherwise our children are going to continue to be pressed upon by people that wear these kind of hats.